Yo Guys Coach. Or perhaps I should be using my other title of Professor Theo for this one because I had that title. I officially am a bro that made that play on words. So perhaps I should present myself like that to distinguish myself from my um, science-based counterparts. Whatever that even means, you know. How ridiculous is it not to find yourself in a position when apparently, you know, science-based is like, uh, the don't, so I don't put me with those guys. The people I am talking about could be described as um, fitness-affiliated people that like to flaunt a thing like science, degrees, titles studies and such in order to make themselves seem credible whether they are credible is a different story altogether excuse me if i sound a little bit sick by the way it's uh, because i am i seem to have run myself into the ground and ripped open my old cold a little bit so it's better this time i've been able to train luckily but this is why i've taken it a bit chill with posting videos this week up until now because this thing with um, Dr. Mike and his P Mike is right and is right and his PhD paper is just too good to not at least comment a bit around. You know, I'm gonna give you some thoughts about Mike that I've had for a long time. By the way, before this, way before it was cool to shit on Mike, okay? And um, a few other things that come to mind related to this. For example, I'm someone that's quite critical of academia and education. Not as a concept, of course, but the way we generally go about it and look at some things in our modern world. And then just bring it back to us, human beings, the people. Because we can point fingers and bash and criticize the famous individual that has it coming to them, all we want. But in the end, the important part is what can we learn from this and what does it say about us? our society and systems that we end up promoting some people into high positions that really should have been there in the first place. So I watched the video by Solomon and Nelson, another savage takedown of Mike. And what's so savage about those videos is that there isn't really all that much memes and trash talking, some of that, but it's mainly thorough, comprehensive overviews of whatever is the subject of that particular video. The uh, paper in this case, right? So just laying it out like that, it's ruthless. Um, the truth speaks for itself a lot. And so I'm not going to talk too much about the contents of the paper because Solomon already did that. You, if you somehow missed it, you can uh, I'll link it in the description. But basically, the main takeaway is that the paper really didn't bring anything new to the table whatsoever. It only confirmed extremely basic facts about fitness that I would hope that no one needs a study or science to figure out. You know, basically like, oh, more muscle mass means you're stronger. Oh, <laughs> athletes that are leaner have greater ath uh, athletic ability than their not so lean counterparts and so on. And the other thing would be um, just that the thing, would, it was a complete mess when it came to formatting, structure, and grammar. And look, I'd be one of the first people to say that, um, that don't get too hung up on a thing like, you know, someone could be a bit disorganized and get a spelling or grammatical error here and there. It really says very little of the quality of their work altogether. It would be a thing that, just like I think we value shallow things like titles and degrees way too much, I think we, you know, just the surface, like, see, it looks good, it's pretty, it's a nice packaging. Not that it doesn't matter at all, but again, like I know people that are dyslexic, that um, are very intelligent, logical, and smart. So if you can just look beyond, okay, it's a little messy or a spelling error here and there, uh, you actually get to take part of some great work, right? So that being said, the sheer volume of it in this paper just. Uh, it just makes you wonder, like, how do you even, how do you even get so much wrong? But not only how do you do that, it's like, how did this pass? You know, like, did anyone at all uh, even review this? It really doesn't seem like it. I'll say this: the only other video I watched on this subject was uh, by Atlas Power Shrug because I know he has a scientific background and transitioning into fitness. He's very critical of exercise science, and I would be also, from what I know. But I wanted to see to hear his perspectives. Um, because, well, his background and his insight, right? And uh, he said, um, what well, I kind of would already understand that it's not uh, just a problem with Mike, this, it's exercise science as a field uh, overall, that uh, the standards are very low. And I'll buy that. But the thing uh, that comes to mind for me is just apparently you can um, promote yourself, you know, as the science guy, leaning on your title as doctor, PhD, right? Make yourself an authority and celebrity within a sphere. 
uh, you, this promote it. I am the science guy. When I know I am the guy to ask. And the foundation for this is this garbage mess of a paper. It's ridiculous, you know. But apparently that can happen. Apparently we can get fooled like that. And um, yeah, well, this another thing that comes to mind. Earlier this year, I made this video called Therapy is Stupid something. I don't know. It's a title. Because my point would always be that, no, it's not stupid as a concept. But this was a reaction to... I shared, uh, like, a younger guy messaging me and what kind of advice I gave him. And I get comments like, oh, it sounds like he needs therapy, though. Oh, he should go to get therapy. And to me, it's so ridiculous that people really, it's like, you, you, you want to go to the person with a paper that says they can help you, not the person that can actually help you. Because it's not like all therapists are bad, but just like somehow, this is what I've seen from my experience, and we're going to get to school also, but that you have the degree, it says something, but it doesn't say everything at all. You, you, can, you, can, you see how shitty work can lead to some sort of degree or title, uh, and now you can flaunt that, but really... You're not the person that knows here. It's so ridiculous to me that um, you cannot see that, you know, someone like me, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit older young man, <laughs> okay, uh, but I figured some things out. I had a, p a poor mental health, I had problems, I found some solutions with fitness, but other internal things as well. Of course, the guy that comes to me, it's because he recognizes himself in me, of course, I am the person that can help him, but you'd rather put the, go to a person with a paper that says they're a therapist, right? It's ridiculous to me. It's like people cannot think for themselves this way. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, am I special? Am I just gifted in this department that I can see through bullshit like this? Because I'll tell you about Mike. I, um, I've been training for a bit over seven years now. I had certain people I followed at the start, some science-based. I definitely watched quite a few Jeff Nippard videos earlier on when I got into fitness. And uh, I would guess I came upon Mike like when I'm like one or two years into all of this. He wasn't quite as big back then as he's been the last couple of years. But of course, he had a following. And my thinking this entire, the entire time was like, OK, this guy is not stupid, but he's also using such big words and overcomplicates things in order to make it seem. That's why, what I just think. It's, I feel like he makes it... It will make it seem complicated and difficult, like he has the solution. Like you, you're, make, you're just making it difficult for people because I never had to think. In the, I would be so confused if that's what was presented to me before I got into uh, to fitness and learned what worked for myself, right? It, it's, it, that was the impression I got. It's like, nah, you, you're just fucking using... I don't care that you had a PhD, tell Dr. Mike, you know. To me... Yeah, I, I don't agree with everything you say. I don't give a shit uh, what reference you give to that. And this is not helpful for a lot of people. It's helpful for you because they might think that, oh, clearly he knows what he's talking about, throwing all that lingo around and he's a doctor, you know. But this is how I've looked at Mike this entire time. And then it's just become more and more apparent um, when he's become more famous, grown his following, and more and more people uh, see through it, right? And, you know, what does it say... Do you think, why is it that some people like me within fitness find ourselves that we kind of want to not identify with like science? Well, no, no, I'm not saying the science based on that because it's, it's not really science as a whole, of course. Who did you ever hear that actually said like, no, I don't believe in science. I don't believe in the scientific method. Having a hypothesis, how do you, do you say that? Hypothesis. <laughs> uh, uh, and going and testing it and then analyzing the results and, uh, you know, seeing if um, uh, the result, the outcome matched up with what I thought going into it, right? Who is against that? No one, of course. But it's specifically because people um, bastardize and use, use just, um, do, do you know what it becomes like? Like a religion, you know, like scientism. Some people even talk about it like that, right? That... Um, Instead of look like the actual thing, what science is, just like how religion can be, oh, it becomes an ideology instead of about what it actually is about, God, right? It's like with science, um, it, it's a method, it, it's an approach, right? But it ends up being like, oh, the, the person associated with it, see, I'm the doctor, see, I use all this lingo, okay, that, that's the science guy, so I'll just follow what he does, right? You know... I'm just sharing some thoughts that I'm hoping can be helpful and perhaps a little bit entertaining to someone. It's not like I necessarily have this grand conclusion here, because to me there's nothing new under the sun here. Seeing this paper only confirms what I've been thinking about Mike this entire time, right? If anything, it's like seeing this paper 
It's like, okay, I already saw through that you're using science as a shtick gimmick in order to make yourself out to be more knowledgeable, more competent than you actually are. And if this garbage paper is the foundation of that title you've been using to do so, make yourself out to be the science fitness authority, you know, it's like, okay, I respect you even less. I view you even more as a charlatan, right? But if I, there's one message that I, an uncommon sense message I want you to take with you from this video. It's this, you know, let's start with my own academic background or even before then, because there's a funny point I can make with something that happened when I, it was journalism, that I have a degree in journalism, okay? I always felt like the problem in school was that um, way too much, we're just almost whatever you're studying, we're testing your ability to um, memorize stuff and put it down on a paper, your ability to conform, kind of just please the teacher, do what you're supposed to, and then you can get high grades and you're not really, like some of the dumbest people I went to school with got the highest grades. So I've never seen it as a like good indicator of you actually being a competent, capable person. But wherever, it, this is what he promotes. This, yeah, I have the paper, right? See, I have the paper that says I'm smart. Don't have to be smart. I have the paper. But find, actually one funny thing when I went to, so what I learned studying journalism it's another field, right? What I learned in that case is that, okay, it's rotten from the inside. This was like a naive attempt, seeing th some things I felt was wrong in society, like maybe I can be like a, a good journalist. And then just seeing that, okay, it's rotten from the inside. A lot of like, you know, what could loosely be described as sort of extreme left-wing ideology. It's kind of baked in there as if it's like not ideology. It's just kind of assumed like, no, equality and stuff. That's just, you know, humanism. And, uh, it was rotten from the inside. But actually, I wrote a big paper myself. I don't know what that's called in um, English. See Uppsats in Swedish. But like the biggest sort of essay you do when you take a bachelor's degree. And... Um, Actually, I felt some justice there because I went to school with so many stupid girls that were just really good at this thing. Like I said, just memorize and do, just execute like a robot what you're supposed to do to get the grade. And um, when we had, um, when we had, you know, the presentations of these essays, uh, we, me and my partner, we kind of got the critique that, you know, this is sort of a mess, you know, like there was some picture wrong you know, maybe, I don't know, some grammatical errors or something, but it was like, but the work, you know, the data and the findings are actually quite interesting. You know, I could tell you about, it was about immigration, um, the way the media reported to Im immigration to different time periods, comparing it like that. So I kind of felt good that, ah, we actually got cred for once. It's not just like, oh, this is really pretty work you've done. It was like, okay, guys, you're going to have to fix some things here, but... Mm, the actual work of it, good. And it was in particular this girl that I I looked at so much, like she's, she's like the, you know, nothing wrong. I don't know what I hate on her, but um, she's really is an example of this that I'm talking about. Like she's so fucking stupid, but she's so good at just memorizing and doing the shit like that. And her, her paper, it looked, it looked perfect on the outside, but she kind of got um, completely, um, you know, criticized for like it it doesn't even make sense like yeah it's very thorough comprehensive great structure but the actual content it doesn't even make sense yeah so that was a nice one there's one time when the way i think it's supposed to be prevailed but yeah when i think about some people i went to journalism school with and that they are out now being journalists it's like it's a joke you know and i started on common sense you know one of the things leading up to my crash in life that made me into uncommon sense Theo further down the line was this re part of this just being all blackpilled about school you know and I definitely don't want to be a journalist but I chose to call uncommon sense uncommon sense for very specific reasons among other that I feel like common sense is so uncommon it's like really this fake fucking system of nice titles and degrees and you know if you just write what you're supposed to on the test you get the degree and look I have a wear a suit now I have the authority I have the title you know it's like can no one fucking see what I'm seeing you know and yeah I've seen that so much because you know even a person like me is kind of natural non-conformist you know I think am I the crazy one here but I just started going my own path and like I can figure things out uh, by myself. No, I, I actually know better uh, many times than someone that's like, oh, educated, has the title, you know, because fucking people like Mike are uh, those people, right? So um, I guess the message I want you to take with you from this video is um, to be more critical. Like um, 
or, or more critical. What I mean is more like be. Don't look just for nice titles and authorities for like what are you supposed to do or think or what's right with this. Fucking consider things for yourself also, you know. It's like don't get fooled by big words and titles. and uh, You know, they can be an indicator. In, in the best of worlds with a better system, you know, I don't want to say like the, oh, that no one should have a title or something, you know. In the best of worlds, it means something. But it isn't everything. Like, in the end, don't go by, well, that's the exercise scientist guy. Or see, he has millions of followers. Or blah, 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 blah. You know, actually think for yourself a little bit. Try out w whatever a person tells you. If it works, it works. Doesn't matter if it's a little professor, on common sense guy. Or, or a big scientific sort of person. Not every person with a degree is stupid just because the system is stupid. So many stupid people can get the degree. But um, you see, in the end, it's about truth. What works? What makes sense? I, I, I don't know. It's like maybe I'm super gifted in this uh, way or something, right? I just tend to think that people could figure more stuff out by themselves, you know. Don't get fooled by... <laughs> no, but it does say something about our society that it's the, the a mic is just an example now but this happens why why is it that uh, it's it, it feels like we never put the actual most competent person in the position they should be we put someone that imitates that well you know see i i sound all scientific you know I use these big words uh, clearly clearly i know what i'm talking about you know Oh yeah, guys, I've ranted enough. I don't even know how long, because I'm going to do some cutting, how long the video is, but we'll end it there. Please like and comment. Always interesting and sometimes funny to hear your thoughts. It helps support the channel. The algorithm, you know, helps more people find their way here, so it's very much appreciated. I do holistic bodybuilding coaching, getting jacked and stacked mentally, physically, spiritually. Not just the body, but the person in the body, right? Working ourselves, body, mind, and soul. So if you're interested, you can send me a DM on Instagram or email me. You can pick up my training book and my new course, The Consistent King, both of which are made to be the opposite of just pretending to be all fucking knowledgeable with all these huge science words. I make it as simple as I can. Sometimes you need to be a bit lengthy about things, but as simple and understandable what actually works uh, as I can for you. So yeah, they are linked uh, in the description if you are interested. Please subscribe for more content about fitness, fast, and weight, building muscles, self-improvement, stoicism, mental health, philosophy, spirituality, mindset. It is a mindset, guys. Your own fucking mindset, okay? Can you just think for yourself for once, please? Am I the only one? I know I'm not, but like... When you see people like Mike becoming authorities in the field you are also in, or at least have a foot in, it's like, what the fuck is wrong with humanity? Peace.